the rocket engine that could power United Launch Alliance's next-generation rocket has passed a major design review, clearing the way for full-scale hot fire testing starting next year and certification for test flights in 2019, according to Aerojet Rocketdyne, the power plant's developer. Ula says Aerojet Rocket finds AR-1 engine is a backup to Blue Origin B4 power plant for the launch company's new Vulcan rocket. Ula managers plan to confirm the selection of the B4 engine for the Vulcan booster later this year, assuming the Blue Origin engine successfully completes a series of ground firings to verify its performance. The AR-1 engine's critical design review, completed May 5 was a huge achievement that occurred on the scheduled Aerojet rocket time set out when it kicked off development of the AR-1 in 2014, said Jim Simpson, the company's vice president of business development and strategy. We're on track right now for certification planned in 2019 for the AR-1, Simpson said in an interview with Space Flight Now. Aerojet Rocket Dyne said the AR-1 engine could be ready to power the U.S. government's valuable national security payloads into space as soon as 2020. Now the engine needs a rocket. ULA officials say the B-4 engine, which burns methane and liquid oxygen propellants, is their top candidate to boost the Vulcan first stage but they want to see the engine complete a campaign of full-scale test firings before confirming the selection. Tori Bruno, ULA's president and CEO, said last month that engineers will look for startup instability and other issues during the test series. The B4 engine is the first methane-fueled engine of its scale, a design decision that could aid the use of the power plant on multiple flights but also comes with uncertainties, Bruno said. Blue Origin tweeted Sunday that it lost a set of power pack hardware Saturday during a test mishap at the company's West Texas development facility. Two test stands are available for B for firings at the test site near Banghorn, Texas. The power pack includes the turbo pumps, valves and other components at the heart of the engine. Blue Origin shipped the first full-size B4 engine from its manufacturing plant in Kent, Washington, to West Texas earlier this year to begin the full-scale test series. Smaller scale B4 power pack testing has been underway at Blue Origin since 2014. EULA is moving on from its current Atlas and Delta rocket fleets in response to competition from the lower-cost SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, and to end reliance on Russian propulsion from the Atlas V used to send U.S. military and spy satellites into space. Funded in a cost-sharing arrangement between Aerojet Rocketdyne, EULA and the U.S. Air Force. The AR-1 engine will generate 500,000 pounds of thrust at full power. It also burns the same kerosene-slash-liquid oxygen mixture as the Russian Rode 180 engine currently flying on the Atlas V rocket. Simpson said engineers from EULA, the Air Force, NASA and the Aerospace Corporation reviewed the progress made on the AR-1 engine program and agreed with Aerojet Rocket Dyne's plan to start producing engine components for full-scale testing. We exceeded all of our requirements and had no liens on the critical design review. In other words, any follow-up actions that we need to complete, Simpson said in a May 8 interview with Space Flight Now. Simpson said officials conducted the critical design review on schedule.